Pacific Helmets have developed a range of Picatinny rail accessory mounts designed to make several popular accessories compatible with any helmet fitted with rails. Today we will be demonstrating the rail accessory mounts on a Pacific R6L Patroller tactical helmet. Packfire's standard R6L Patroller is fitted with a full set of Picatinny rails. First up is the goggle mounts. The goggle mounts for Picatinny rails come as a pair, one for either side of the helmet. They have been designed to allow double strap goggles to be fitted to Picatinny rails. We're going to fit them to the short rear part of the rail. This part of the rail has three locking positions, so you can adjust where your goggles sit on the helmet. To fit the goggle mount, slide it onto the rail tab first. To move past a locking point, lift the tab slightly and push it along the rail. Fit a goggle mount to either side of your helmet. Picatinny rail goggle mounts will work with most double strap goggles, but today we're fitting the ESS fire strike goggles to our helmet. You can get more information on them via the link in the description box. The eyelet on the goggle strap fits over and clicks onto the lug on the goggle mount. After fitting both straps to their respective goggle mount, adjust to achieve the desired fit. Goggle mounts can be removed from the rail by simply lifting the tab and sliding out of the channel. Pacific Helmets have designed accessory retention straps for use on helmets fitted with rails. The accessory straps are also a pair, one for each side of the helmet. They have been designed to retain accessories with a single strap, like goggles or headlights. They do this by forming a loop when the press stud is buttoned. We're going to fit the accessory straps to the rear part of the rail. Once again, this part of the rail has three locking positions, so you can adjust the position of the accessory straps and the accessory itself. The accessory straps slide onto the rail tab first. Move past a locking point by lifting the tab slightly and pushing along the rail. To demonstrate how the accessory straps work, today we're going to fit a pair of single strap fire strike goggles to the helmet. You can get more information on them via the link in the description box. Stretch the strap over the helmet and down to where the accessory straps are hanging. Place the accessory on the accessory strap, then button the press stud. Repeat the process on the other side. This will prevent your single strap accessory from flinging off your helmet and becoming lost. To remove the accessory straps, lift the tab and slide clear of the rail. Many helmets with rails are not fitted with an easy on off base for lighting. Pacific Helmets have designed an Adaro torch clip for rails. It suits any of the Adaro branded torches that can be mounted to a helmet, including the L5 Power, which is what we're using for the purposes of today's video. We will be fitting the torch clip to the forward section of the rail, which has four locking points for your accessories. The Adaro torch clip slides along the rail and into the locking points when you depress the plastic fins on either side. First, fit your torch to the clip. Usually it will just slide into the holder. Grip and depress the side fins to slide the clip along the rail. Keep the fins depressed to position your torch at one of the locking points. The torch switch will be conveniently located at the rear. A great feature of fitting lighting to a helmet with rails is you can have your torch on either side of the helmet. To fit to the other side of the helmet, simply depress the fins and slide onto the other rail. Once again, the switch will be easily accessible at the rear. Underwater Kinetics manufacture a popular range of torches for firefighting, rescue and tactical operations. Pacific Helmets have designed a torch clip for the Underwater Kinetics range of helmet mountable torches. The Underwater Kinetics torch clip slides onto the rail in a similar fashion to the Adaro clip. Depress the plastic fins on either side of the clip to slide onto or along the rail. Insert the torch into the clip by lining up the raised area on the torch with the cavity on the torch holder. Slide the torch holder on and tighten the screw to achieve the desired hold. We're demonstrating the fitting process with an Underwater Kinetics 3AA e-lead torch, but there are several other models in the helmet mounted range. The switch on the 3AA is located at the rear. Some models like the 4AA Zoom will instead have a front switch, which is still easily accessible thanks to the design of the clip. Again, the torch can be positioned on the left or the right hand side of the helmet depending on the user's preference and the other accessories. Another great feature of helmets with Picatinny rails is accessories can be stacked. Let's give you an example. We're going to fit the double strap goggle mounts to the rear part of the rail and then mount the ESS fire strike goggles. On the forward section of the rail, we're going to add the underwater kinetics 3AA torch on the right hand side. This is just an example. Other combinations are possible, like mounting a second torch. 
Need more info? Head to packfire.com.au. The new Patroller Tactical Helmet is available under the Wildland Firefighting or Rescue Helmets section. The product listing will include information about the helmet, downloads and a full list of spare parts and accessories including the Pacific Helmets rail accessory mounts under the appropriately named tab. You can find a full list of all the products, mounts and accessories linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more video content.